Gillian, huge congratulations. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, you you emphasised uh, about, about the fact of what we can bring together for e for each other. What did you mean by that? Well, indeed, thank you for your congratulations. And it is an honour to have have been recognised tonight. And as local councillors, we know the value of collaboration. We collaborate in our local council chambers. We collaborate with our national politicians. We collaborate with the officials um, in in local councils. And I think. At, the more we can collaborate across borders, across countries, um, the more we can exhibit best practice, distribute best practice and bring it to bear in our own communities. And really that's what our, our communities want, is the best value for money, the best amenities, the best housing at the best value. So I think this can be shared and it inspires us because it can be a lonely role, it can be a difficult role. As a councillor you can feel very isolated, but when we come together I think we're stronger. And what would you say local councillors can do that maybe national politicians can't do? We're at the cold face. You know, we see our constituents every single day. Often national politicians have to travel away from their constituencies to a central capital city. Um, as local councillors, we are generally living in our communities, living with our, with our residents. Um, and we know, we understand the day-to-day -day challenges. And as a local authority and local representatives, that is what we deal with, the day-to-day -day challenges. Trying to lift it into some sort of superstructure of policy making that can be sustainable into the future and can be um, financed. So I think that really is it. That's the difference between local government and national government. You are at the coalface with your constituents, dealing with the same challenges day on day.